C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of mathematics for class 7 chapter 5 lines and angles page 100 5.2.5 5. vertically opposite angles next take two pencils and tie them with the help of a rubber band at the middle as shown figure 5.14 look at the four angles formed angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 angle 1 is vertically opposite to angle 3 and angle 2 is vertically opposite to angle 4 we call angle 1 and angle 3 a pair of vertically opposite angles can you name the other pair of vertically opposite angles does angle 1 appear to be equal to angle 3 does angle 2 appear to be equal to angle 4 before checking this let us see some real life examples for vertically opposite angles figure 5.15 figure 5.15 some real life examples are shown in this figure one is an ironing table a scissor and a stand do this draw two lines l and m intersecting at a point you can now mark angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 as in the figure 5.16 take a trace copy of the figure on a transparent sheet place the copy on the original such that angle 1 matches with its copy angle 2 matches with its copy etc fix a pin at the point of intersection rotate the copy by 180 degrees do the lines coincide again observe the figures the first figure can be rotated to get the second figure you find that angle 1 and angle 3 have interchanged their positions and so have angle 2 and angle 4 this has been done without disturbing the position of the lines thus angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4 page 101 we conclude that when two lines intersect the vertically opposite angles so formed are equal let us try to prove this using geometrical idea let us consider two lines l and m figure 5.17 we can arrive at this result through logical reasoning as follows let L and M be two lines which intersect at O, making angles 1, angle 2, angle 3 and angle 4. We want to prove that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Now, angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees minus angle 2 because angle 1, 2 form a linear pair so angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees equation 1 similarly angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees minus angle 2 since angle 2 angle 3 form a linear pair so angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees equation 2 therefore angle 1 is equal to angle 3 by equations 1 and 2 
Similarly, we can prove that angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Try it. Try these. 1. In the given figure, if angle 1 is equal to 30 degrees, find angle 2 and angle 3. 2. Give an example for vertically opposite angles in your surroundings. Example 1. In figure 5.18, identify 1. Five pairs of adjacent angles. 2. Three linear pairs. 3. Two pairs of vertically opposite angles. Figure 5.18. In this figure, some angles are shown which are connected to the point O. Solution 1. Five pairs of adjacent angles are angle AOE, angle EOC, angle EOC, angle COB, angle AOC, angle COB, angle COB, angle BOD. Angle EOB, angle BOD. 2. Linear pairs are angle AOE, angle EOB, angle AOC, angle COB, angle COB, angle BOD. 3. Vertically opposite angles are angle COB, angle AOD, and Angle AOC, angle BOD. Exercise 5.1 1. Find the complement of each of the following angles. We have three different figures given here. 1. 20 degrees angle. 2. 63 degrees angle. 3. 57 degrees angle. Page 102. 2. Find the supplement of each of the following angles. We have three different figures given here. 1. 105 degrees angle. 2. 87 degrees angle. 3. 154 degrees angle. 3. Identify which of the following pairs of angles are complementary and which are supplementary. 1. 65 degrees, 115 degrees. 2. 63 degrees, 27 degrees. 3. 112 degrees, 68 degrees. 4. 130 degrees, 50 degrees. 5. 45 degrees, 45 degrees. 6. 80 degrees, 10 degrees. 4. Find the angle which is equal to its complement. 5. Find the angle which is equal to its supplement. 6. In the given figure, angle 1 and angle 2 are supplementary angles. If angle 1 is decreased, what changes should take place in angle 2 so that both the angles still remain supplementary? 7. Can two angles be supplementary if both of them are 1. Acute 2. Obtuse 3. Right 8. An angle is greater than 45 degrees. Is its complementary angle greater than 45 degrees or equal to 45 degrees or less than 45 degrees? 9. In the adjoining figure, the angles are marked as angle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which are connected to the point O. 1. Is angle 1 adjacent to angle 2? 2. Is angle AOC adjacent to angle AOE? 3. 
do angle COE and angle EOD form a linear pair? 4. Are angle BOD and angle DOA supplementary? 5. Is angle 1 vertically opposite to angle 4? 6. What is the vertically opposite angle of angle 5? 10. Indicate which pairs of angles are 1. Vertically opposite angles 2. Linear pairs In this figure, the angles are marked as angle 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and are connected to a common point. Page 103 11. In the following figure, is angle 1 adjacent to angle 2? Give reasons. Here, an English alphabet Z is given in which angle 1 and angle 2 are marked. 12. Find the values of the angles X, Y and Z in each of the following. We have two different figures given here. 13. Fill in the blanks. 1. If two angles are complementary, then the sum of their measures is dash. 2. If two angles are supplementary, then the sum of their measures is dash. 3. Two angles forming a linear pair are dash. 4. If two adjacent angles are supplementary, they form a dash. 5. If two lines intersect at a point, then the vertically opposite angles are always dash. 6. If two lines intersect at a point, and if one pair of vertically opposite angles are acute angles, then the other pair of vertically opposite angles are dash. 14. In the adjoining figure, name the following pairs of angles. 1. Obtuse vertically opposite angles. 2. Adjacent complementary angles. 3. Equal supplementary angles. 4. Unequal supplementary angles. 5. Adjacent angles that do not form a linear pair. 5.3. Pairs of lines. 5.3.1. Intersecting lines. We have three different figures given here. Page 104. The blackboard on its stand, the letter Y made up of line segments and the grill door of a window, figure 5.19, what do all these have in common? They are examples of intersecting lines. Two lines L and M intersect if they have a point in common. This common point O is their point of intersection. Think, discuss and write. In figure 5.20, AC and BE intersect at P. AC and BC intersect at C. AC and EC intersect at C. Try to find another 10 pairs of intersecting line segments. Should any two lines or line segments necessarily intersect? Can you find two pairs of non-intersecting line segments in the figure? Can two lines intersect in more than one point? Think about it. Try these. 
1. Find examples from your surroundings where lines intersect at right angles. 2. Find the measures of the angles made by the intersecting lines at the vertices of an equilateral triangle. 3. Draw any rectangle and find the measures of angles at the four vertices made by the intersecting lines. 4. If two lines intersect, do they always intersect at right angles? 5.3.2 Transversal You might have seen a road crossing two or more roads or a railway line crossing several other lines. Figure 5.21 These give an idea of a transversal. Figure 5.21 here, two figures are given which are showing real-life examples of transversal lines. A line that intersects two or more lines at distinct points is called a transversal. Page 105 In the figure 5.22, P is a transversal to the lines L and M. We have figure 5.22 and figure 5.23 given here. In figure 5.23, the line P is not a transversal, although it cuts two lines L and M. Can you say why? Try these. 1. Suppose two lines are given. How many transversals can you draw for these lines? 2. If a line is a transversal to three lines, how many points of intersections are there? 3. Try to identify a few transversals in your surroundings. 5.3.3 3. Angles made by a transversal in figure 5.24, you see lines L and M cut by transversal P. P and L cut each other and form angles 1, 2, 3 and 4, while P and M cut each other and form angles 5, 6, 7 and 8. The eight angles marked 1 to 8 have their special names. Interior angles, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6. Exterior angles, angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, angle 8. Pairs of corresponding angles, angle 1 and angle 5, angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, angle 4, and angle 8. Pairs of alternate interior angles. Angle 3 and angle 6, angle 4 and angle 5. Pairs of alternate exterior angles. Angle 1 and angle 8, angle 2 and angle 7. Pairs of interior angles on the same side of the transversal. Angle 3 and Angle 5, Angle 4 and Angle 6. Note, corresponding angles like Angle 1 and Angle 5 in Figure 5.25 include 1. Different vertices 2. Are on the same side of the transversal and Page 106 3. Are in corresponding positions, that is, above or below, left or right, relative to the two lines. Alternate interior angles, like angle 3 and angle 6, in figure 5.26. 1. Have different vertices. 2. 
are on opposite sides of the transversal and 3. lie between the two lines. Try these. Name the pairs of angles in each figure. We have six different figures given here. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.